the experiment that made top physicists question their sanity. You won't believe what scientists found when they looked deep into the quantum world. It was supposed to be simple, just particles moving through a couple of slits. But what they uncovered, it shattered everything we thought we knew about reality. This is where it gets strange. A team of physicists set up an experiment now legendary in the field. They fired tiny particles, electrons, photons, through two narrow slits, expecting them to act like little bullets, landing in two neat lines. But here's the shocking part. Instead of behaving like solid objects, the particles spread out like waves, interfering with each other, creating a pattern that should have been impossible. Confused? So were the world's greatest minds. To make sense of it, they introduced something new, a measuring device to observe the particles as they passed through the slits. And that's when reality broke down. The moment they started watching, the particles stopped acting like waves. They snapped back into behaving like tiny bullets, landing in two clean bands, exactly as expected. It was as if reality was waiting to be observed before deciding what to be. Let that sink in for a moment. The simple act of conscious observation collapsed the possibilities into a single reality. Scientists ran the test again and again and again. Same bizarre result every time. The conclusion? Observation changes reality itself. But here's where it gets even more unsettling. If mere observation can change the behavior of particles, what does that say about the world around us? About you? About your body? About every decision? symptom, or outcome you experience. Because, as we'll see next, this isn't just a problem for quantum physics. It's a problem for medicine, consciousness, and even your very own existence. And the next discovery? It left even Nobel Prize-winning scientists speechless. This Nobel Prize winner admitted, we were wrong about consciousness all along. For decades, scientists clung to a comforting illusion that the world existed as a fixed, objective reality, independent of human observation. But then, quantum physics shattered that belief. And one scientist, a Nobel Prize-winning physicist, made a stunning confession. We were wrong about consciousness all along. It all started with the Copenhagen interpretation, one of the most debated ideas in science. This theory, pioneered by Niels Bohr, suggested that before you observe a particle, it exists in a state of pure probability, multiple realities all happening at once. Only when you look does the particle choose a single reality. But here's the disturbing part. If observation determines reality at the quantum level, what does that mean for everything else? Are we unknowingly shaping the world just by perceiving it? This idea sent shockwaves through the scientific community. The implications were too radical. It meant that, at its core, reality might not be an independent, external thing at all, but something that bends and shifts based on awareness itself. The pushback was intense. Some physicists refused to accept such an idea, clinging to a deterministic, mechanical universe. But then, a mind-bending experiment changed everything. Physicists set up a quantum test where particles were observed or left unobserved at different stages. When no one was watching, the particles acted like waves, spreading out in multiple states. But the moment they introduced an observer, even indirectly, the particles collapsed into a definite form. In other words, reality was waiting for a conscious mind to decide. At this point, even the skeptics had to admit it, Consciousness was entangled with the fabric of existence itself. And here's where it gets even crazier. If mere observation can collapse quantum states, what happens when we observe something in our own lives? What about symptoms in our bodies? What about illness? What about health? Because as you'll see next, doctors have been witnessing something just as impossible. Healing that defies explanation, all connected to this quantum mystery. And the implications? They're nothing short of revolutionary. Doctors witnessed impossible healing, then found this quantum connection. A patient walks into a hospital with a terminal illness. Every test, every scan confirms it. There's no way out. But weeks later, something unexplainable happens. The disease is gone. 
No treatment, no cure, just vanished. Doctors have seen this before. They have a name for it. Spontaneous remission. But what they won't tell you, the deeper they investigate, the more the quantum puzzle of consciousness starts creeping into medicine. Let's start with something that should be impossible. The placebo effect. It's one of the most documented but least understood phenomena in medical history. Patients are given sugar pills, saline injections, or fake surgeries. Yet somehow, their bodies heal as if they received real treatment. But here's the shocking part. Brain scans show that patients under a placebo don't just think they're getting better. Their bodies physically change. Damaged cells repair. Pain disappears. Tumors shrink. Their biology rewires itself based on belief alone. And that's not even the strangest part. In one experiment, researchers told a group of patients they were receiving a powerful painkiller. In reality, it was nothing but saline. But when they scanned their brains, they found something extraordinary. The patients' brains had actually produced their own opioids. Let that sink in. The body generated real medicine, purely because it believed it was supposed to. But here's where it gets unsettling. Scientists then tested the opposite effect, the nocebo effect. Instead of giving patients a fake cure, they gave them a harmless sugar pill but told them it would cause side effects. And it did. Patients experienced nausea, dizziness, even full-blown allergic reactions. All from nothing. What does this mean? It means that, much like quantum particles responding to observation, your body is responding to your mind in ways we are only beginning to understand. And the implications? If mere belief can heal or harm, then what happens when we consciously take control of this process? Could we collapse not just quantum states, but physical symptoms? Could consciousness be the missing link in medicine? Because as we'll see next, top universities have been sitting on research that suggests exactly that. And the truth? They didn't want you to know. Top universities tried to bury this consciousness research. For decades, we've been told that medicine is about biology and physics is about particles. But what if they've been hiding the truth? What if consciousness doesn't just observe reality, but shapes it? At Princeton University, a secretive research project called the Pear Lab, Princeton Engineering Anomalies Research, ran for nearly three decades. It was supposed to be a small study on randomness and physics. Instead, what they found was something far more disturbing. They asked volunteers to influence random number generators with their minds. No buttons, no physical contact, just pure intention. And against all logic, the numbers shifted. Over millions of trials, their thoughts changed statistical outcomes. The odds of this happening by chance? Beyond astronomical. But when researchers tried to publish their findings, the reaction was immediate. Denial, ridicule, suppression. Why? Because if consciousness can directly affect reality, then our entire understanding of science collapses. And Princeton wasn't the only institution to uncover these anomalies. At the University of Arizona, researchers studying near-death experiences discovered something equally bizarre. Consciousness sometimes existed independently of the brain. Patients who were clinically dead, no heartbeat, no brain activity, returned with detailed memories of their surroundings. But that should be impossible. If the brain produces consciousness, then how were these people fully aware when their brains had flatlined? Here's where it gets even crazier. A hidden cache of declassified CIA documents revealed that the US government spent decades secretly funding research into remote viewing, telepathy, and the quantum mind. The reason? They weren't dismissing this research. They were using it. But the public? They were never supposed to know. Because if this information became widespread, it would change everything. If your mind can shift quantum states, if your consciousness can affect your health, if awareness isn't locked inside the brain, then the question becomes, what is reality really made of? And the answer? It's even more mind-bending than you think. Because as you'll see next, 
the latest quantum data reveals that consciousness might not just be powerful. It might be the fundamental force behind everything. New quantum data reveals. Your mind is more powerful than we thought. For centuries, science has tried to separate mind and matter. We were taught that consciousness is just a side effect of the brain, nothing more than neurons firing in a biological machine. But new quantum discoveries are proving otherwise. Physicists at the Max Planck Institute have gone on record stating, consciousness is more fundamental than matter. Let that sink in. They're not just saying that consciousness affects reality. They're saying it might be the foundation of everything. Here's why. In recent quantum experiments, scientists observed entangled particles, particles that remain mysteriously connected no matter how far apart they are. If one particle changes, the other changes instantly. This defies every law of physics. No signal travels that fast, unless there's something deeper connecting them. And here's where it gets truly bizarre. When researchers added a human observer to the experiment, something impossible happened. The results changed just by being watched. We've seen this before with the famous double-slit experiment, where light behaves like a wave until someone observes it, then it decides to act like a particle. But what does this mean for you? It means that the reality you experience isn't fixed. It means your mind isn't just a bystander. It's a participant. And that brings us to the ultimate revelation. Scientists are now proposing that consciousness itself is a fundamental force, just like gravity or electromagnetism. If that's true, then are we creating reality moment by moment? Do thoughts and intentions shape the quantum field? And if consciousness is fundamental, what happens after death? Because if mind doesn't come from matter, then it doesn't end with it either. And that's where this all leads. Because in the final part, we're tackling the question that changes everything. If consciousness is shaping reality, then who or what is behind it all? The quantum discovery that changes everything we know about reality. Everything we've covered so far leads to this moment. We've seen how small blue diamond consciousness collapses quantum states. Small blue diamond observers change reality simply by looking at it. Small blue diamond mind isn't just a product of the brain. It might be the foundation of reality itself. But that leaves us with a terrifyingly profound question. If consciousness shapes reality, then what's shaping consciousness? Here's where the implications become unavoidable. If your mind isn't confined to your brain, if awareness extends beyond space and time, if quantum physics itself suggests that nothing exists without an observer, then what was observing the universe before humans existed? Physicists like John Wheeler propose something groundbreaking. The universe doesn't exist in a definite state until it is observed. It is a self-exciting circuit where consciousness and reality create each other Think about what that means. Reality isn't a static thing that we exist in. It's something we participate in. And if that's the case, then we've been asking the wrong questions all along. Instead of what is reality, we should be asking who is observing it into existence. That question alone changes everything. It means we're not just spectators in the universe. We're part of its unfolding. And that brings us to one final mystery. If observation is necessary for reality to exist, if consciousness is fundamental, then could all of this, our existence, our awareness, our reality, be part of something much larger? Could we be expressions of a greater intelligence? Could reality itself be alive? The answer? We're closer than ever to finding out. Because right now, Leading scientists and philosophers are racing to uncover the truth, and what they're finding will shatter everything we thought we knew. So, what do you think? Is consciousness the ultimate force of the universe? Are we creating reality? Or is something greater creating us? Drop your thoughts in the comments, because the best theories will be featured in our next video.
And if you want to go even deeper into the mind-bending mysteries of reality, hit subscribe and join our growing community of truth seekers. Because this, this is just the beginning.